Welcome in the Math Party people. Anderson here, your math coach. And in this video, we're gonna go through some guided practice here. And I'm gonna show you how to basically add integers in a way that it's gonna allow you to use mental math to your advantage. Because the idea is not just to get things done right, but to get them done quickly as well. So let's go ahead and really build that confidence here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with some smaller numbers, then move over into bigger sets of numbers, and then the biggest set that we have here, three digit by three digit. And I'm gonna show you how mental math applies in all three phases because it's about how you think about the numbers, not just about, oh, let's just write this down, 18 plus 15, and then going at it. It's not just about that. Again, it's all about the strategy to make sure that you're confident and correct at the same time and quick. So starting off first, let's go ahead and just zoom in over here, 18 plus 15. You know, a lot of us may have to actually go ahead and you know write that out as 18 plus 15. Then you add the eight and the five and you get 13, carry that one, one plus one plus one, and then you get 33. A lot of people do do that, but here's another way that you can think about it that allows you to keep it all in your head. Because the thing is, if you learn mental math, you'll be able to do this before I'm even done writing the problem down. So here's how you want to think about it. One way you can think about it is like this, my party people. We have 18 plus 15. You can think about it like this. Why not just split the 15 up into 10 and five? Why not just do that? Because when you think about it that way, you can go ahead and do 18 plus 10, which is 28. Then when you're at 28, add the five, and then you get 33. What you need to understand is you need to be very, very good at those smaller bits of addition. So for example, if you know seven plus five, eight plus six, you know, six plus nine, all of these basic ones, if you know those smaller sets, then this right here, mental math, super duper easy, super duper easy. So let me walk you through another one that will require some mental math here. A lot of these really don't, so I'm gonna keep moving them forward until I find one that does. So let's take a look somewhere over, let's say right over, man, I'm looking, there we go, 17 plus 19. Let's think about something like this. And again, there's so many different ways to think about addition and subtraction and everything with mental math. So here, we have 17 plus 19. You could think of this as instead 17 plus 10 plus nine. You could think of it that way, you know, just like we saw in that previous problem. And so doing so, you'll see that you'll have 17 plus 10. Okay, that's 27. Then in my head, you'll do 27 plus nine. Now, all you really need to know here is, hey, what's seven plus nine? That's 16. Again, you gotta be quick at those. Be quick at the little stuff, and that's gonna make you faster here. So again, you can do 17, split the 19 up into 10 and nine. 17 plus 10 is 27, plus nine, 36. So all you're doing is just going up to the next digit and then making it the six at the end for that 16. Just like that. And here's another way you can think about it. Before you, because this video is gonna be very informative, we want to stay through the entire thing here. Here's another way you can think about this. Hey, hey, before we get to crushing this problem, just wanted to remind you about my ASVAB All Access program. So if you have test anxiety, if you blank out on work problems, if you're frustrated and can't keep a solid study schedule, then this program is there to support you. Long story short, you're going to be able to text me whenever you need help. You get all of the classes and the recordings so you can work around your schedule whenever you need to. On top of that, you're going to get access to over 2,000 practice problems that let you learn from every mistake by watching video solutions to those math questions. Not like a textbook where you have to figure it out on your own. On top of that, there are way more features like practice tests, study guides, flashcard sets, all that good stuff. So go ahead, either text me or check out the link either somewhere here in this video or in the description. That way you can keep raising your score and get the job you want because that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Check out the All Access program and sign up. And then keep going, watching this video so you can keep crushing it. I'll see you there. Notice how we're adding 19. If you want to be able to do this quickly, here's a great way. Isn't adding 19, uh, well, isn't that really, really close to 20? Isn't that really close to 20? I think we can both agree. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. So if I'm taking a look at this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, this is actually going to turn into 17 plus 20. Let me go ahead and do plus 20 over here. But the thing is, you know, 19 is really close to 20. Yeah. But if I'm adding 20, I'm adding too much, right? I'm adding way too much. And so I'm going to have to actually subtract one because if I'm adding 20, 
to get back to 19, I got to take away one. And that's exactly what I'll do. And so in your head, again, this is all happening in your head. You can think of 17 plus 19 as 17 plus 20, then take away one. Because that's going to be 37 right there out the gate. Then take away one is 36. And you're feeling nice and easy about that. Nice and easy. And so there's the idea, my party people. Mental math is king here. And now we're going to go ahead and go through some extra problems here. Because I want to make sure, again, at the end of the day, you're taken care of. So let's take a look at 24 plus 17 here. Taking a look at 24 plus 17, what we can do here is we can say, hey, I can go ahead and do either strategy, split and glue, or the other one that we just looked over, which I like to call estimating and then compensating. So making up for the estimation. So I'll show you both ways in here right now. So one way you can think of this is 24 and then split the 17 up. You can split that 17 up into 10 and seven. And so when you look at that, you can have 24 plus 10, which is 34, 34 plus seven. Well, we know four plus seven is 11. Keep that one at the end to make it 41. You can do it that way again in your head. 24 plus 10, 34 plus seven is 41. Now here's an alternate way to think about it. Here's another way. Instead of thinking about it as adding 17, why not just add 30? Or excuse me, why not just add 20? We can go ahead and just add 20. We can just say 24 plus 20 right over here. But the problem is 20 is way too much, right? Adding 20 is way too much. How do I go back to 17? I just want to add 17. Well, the thing is you take away three because isn't 20 minus three 17? Yeah. And so with the practice, you'll be able to identify this strategy very quickly and say, okay, cool. 24 plus 17. I'll just do 24 plus 20, 44. Then take away three, 41. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And again, this really just depends on your ability to add those single digit numbers, like six plus seven. In this case, we are looking at uh, seven and uh, four. That can help out here when you're doing the top part. So let's go ahead and dial it up here. Let's go ahead and try out number 33. So number 33 here, 19 plus 18. Honestly, we can just turn this into 20 plus 18 then take away one. Seriously, you don't have to go the direct way every time. You can just treat this as 20 minus one. So here, 20 plus 18 minus one. That'll be 38 minus one is 37, nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's the idea of this, my party people. We wanna make sure that we get things done, not just correctly, but quickly as well and confidently. So allow me to go ahead and come down here. We're gonna go ahead and look at some bigger problems here, right about here. So let's take a look at some of these. These are gonna be pretty interesting now. So let's start off with, let's say 57. So 85 plus 54, let's take a look at this. 85 plus 54, well, this is two digit by two digit addition and the idea stays the same. You can split and glue or you can estimate and compensate. Whichever one really works for you, it's all good. But here's what you can do. I can turn this in my head and again, this is happening in my head. I can take that 85 and I can just make this 80 plus five. That's in my head. I'm just thinking about this as 80 plus five. And the 54, I'm thinking about this as 50 and four. If I split it up this way, this makes it a little easier to think about. Even though we don't have to do any uh, carrying or uh, carrying with this, uh, ones digits, we will have to do it with the tens digits. So you can think about this as 80 plus 50, and we know that eight plus five is 13. So that'll be 130 in my head. And then the five plus four is nine. So the answer would be 139. We can think about it that way, my party people. Again, the idea here is to break it down and then put it back together. You would rather deal with four small numbers or easy numbers than two more difficult ones. That's the idea. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example here. Let's go ahead and take a look at one where we'll have to do both. So let's take a look at 61 here. We have 96 plus 59. Let's check this one out, my party people. 96 plus 59. If I'm taking care of this, my, uh, my strategy here remains the same. I can estimate and compensate or I can split and glue. Here's what both of them are going to look like. All right, here's what both will look like. So the, um, the splitting and gluing, what it'll look like is like this. You can split 96 up 
into 90 and 6. And the 59, you can split that up into 50 and 9. So when you take care of that, again, what I'm noticing here is I'm taking care of a 90 plus 50 first. And then from there, I'm taking care of the 6 plus the 9. So I'm basically splitting it up into easier operations. Notice how much easier it is to look at it this way. And again, you're not writing this down. You're just doing it in your head. And so 90 plus 50 or 9 plus 5, that's 14 or 140. Since we're dealing with 90 and 50, not 9 and 5. So in my head already, again, in my head, this right here is 140. Then the 6 plus 9, we should be able to recognize that instantly that's 15. And so 140 plus 15 is 155. And again, that's the splitting and gluing. You split it up into smaller numbers, bring it back together, and you're good. Split and glue. Now here's the estimating and compensating strategy. And again, these strategies work depending on which way you want to look at it. So here, let me look at the estimating and compensating strategy. This one's really interesting here, especially since if you notice, 96 is really close to 100. And so here's what you can do, my party people. I can just go ahead and say, hey, uh, 96 is really close to 100. So I'll just go ahead and move this up to 100. And again, in my head, I'm moving it up to 100. But at the end, 96, well, I'm four away. So I'm adding four too many. And so what I'll do is at the end, I'll take away four. And again, all you have to do is think about this in your head. So I changed the 96 to 100, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add that 59. Look at how easy that is. That's 159, right? And then great, we have 159, then take away the four, that becomes 155. So again, in your head, you can do it much faster than those traditional ways of literally doing 96 plus 59. You don't have to do all that anymore. You can give yourself a lot more time to deal with these questions no matter what. And there's that answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at another problem here. Let's take a look at, let's say, 99 plus 92. Here's an interesting one. Really what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say, hey, uh, I'm gonna make that 100, then I'm gonna take away one at the end. So 100 plus 92, that's gonna be 192, take away one, 191. That's the idea, my party people. You wanna give yourself the easiest time possible when you're performing your mental math. So let's take a look at another one here. Uh, we can take a look at 34 plus 37. Easy does it. We can go ahead and say, this will end up being add the 30 first, 64 plus seven. So four plus seven is 11, so 71. Again, mental math is king. This gives you a much easier opportunity here. Let's take a look at another one here. Let's take a look at 79 plus 72. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and add the 70s. You can treat it as 70 plus 70, and then you have the nine plus two. So here, the 70 plus 70, that's 140 in my head. Nine plus two, that's 11, 151. Again, in your head, you can do this much faster than just setting it up at 79 plus 72, all that mumbo jumbo. Works out a lot better. Now let's take a look at some uh, three digits uh, if we have them available to us, let's see. Cool, we have some three digits right here. You might be looking at this one, 105, right over here. Look at how nasty that looks. That looks a little nasty, right? But we can actually do this fairly straightforward. Here, watch, look. If you're struggling with the ASVAB, then it might be time to check out my ASVAB All Access program. It has all of my classes and the recordings, all the practice problems that you ever need, and you can text me whenever you need help. So there's much more to it, but feel free to click the link right here in this video or in the description that tells you a lot more about the program and there's a video explaining how it all works. If you have any questions, I'm Coach Anderson. Find my contact info and reach out to me if you have any. Let's get to it and let's see ASVAB. Three digit by three digit, no problem. Because when I notice 598, that's really close to 600, right? That's really close to 600. So I can literally change this problem to 345 plus 600. But the thing is 598 is two away from 600. So I'll have to compensate for that and subtract two. But look at how much easier this becomes. Instead of doing two, well, like one big operation, do two easier ones. 345 plus 600 is 945. 945 minus two is 943. That's answer A.
nice and easy. So I hope you're starting to see this more party people. It doesn't matter how many digits it is. You can split and glue or estimate and compensate super straightforward and get things done the right way. Here's another example. Let's say we're looking at 107. So 122 plus 409. I can go ahead and just add one digit at a time in my head. So what I can do is this. Add the 400 first in my head and that'll be 522 plus the remaining nine. 522 plus nine, well 22 plus nine is 31. So that'll, be key. that'll become 531. Again, I'm telling you, this is one of the easiest ways to take a look at arithmetic and this will give you the best opportunity to get this done the right way. So the last one here that I'll do is 109 and then I'll let you go and move forward. If you're in our uh, program and our math bootcamp course, you'll see that up next, you're gonna be able to practice speed drills and also look at the worksheet yourself and practice it up. So here, 325 plus 719. What we can do here is we can say, hey, look, 300 plus 700, that's 1,000. So in my head, I'm gonna keep that 1,000, and then all I have to do is the 25 plus the 19. Okay, so 25 plus 19, I can treat that as bring that one over, 35 plus nine, 35 plus nine is 44. So I have 1,000 plus 44, and that's 1,044. Again, my party people, mental math is king. I have to urge you to learn it because at the end of the day, this is the best way for you to get things done even more confidently than before and take less time. And so with that said, my party people, I'm Anderson, your math coach. Again, if you're watching this in the math bootcamp course, I want you to move forward now because you'll be looking at the worksheet and then the speed drills to really get yourself going and practice as much as you need to to really solidify this concept. I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Cheers. Let's have a good time.